Hello friends, my name is Puspender Sani once again I came with a very interesting tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to tell you how you can open your app, uh, iOS application in Swift UI with the help of custom URL schema. In last video, if you will see, I have show you how you can do all these works in Swift programming language with the 5 version. Okay, So I can say Swift 5 programming language, how you can open your application with the help of uh, custom URL scheme but in this tutorial I'm going to tell you how you can do the same thing in Swift UI so let's begin and before that before jumping to that I would like to show some similarity what will be the same thing in Swift UI and in uh, Swift programming language okay so as you can see on the screen so that was my Swift programming language where I have opened my application with the help of custom URL scheme and here as you can see the info p list which will be common in both in uh, swift project and swift ui project here you have to add the custom url scheme as you can see info and the url type here i have already added the url scheme as you can see this is my url scheme so if i enter this url scheme in my browser then my application will open automatically without having any other code so let's do in swift ui and understand how easy it is so at the very first I am going to create one project that is multi-part, multi-platform. Click on next and then give the project name. I can say shift UI URL scheme. That's it. So here first I will run and then I will see the output how it is uh, showing that. Okay. okay so the screen in front of you as you can see it is saying hello world okay so now i need to open this application from the url schema so first of all what are, what the changes you have to done click on your project then the target okay in the target you will see info and here also you will find the same thing as i just now i have showed you now click on plus here you have to give the identifier of your application so i will check the identifier of my application in general from general i will copy and i will put in my url scheme this is my identifier now the url schema means by which keyword you would like to open your uh, ios application okay so let's say this is url schema itself so i will copy and i will stop this i will run again now i will see the output now i will open safari browser safari browser i will type paste now you can see it's saying that sorry we can't open this uh, because of address is invalid so let's understand what we have to do for that okay so guys i will change this my schema because i have already created one same schema example in uh, uh, for the swift programming language so here i am going to give that this and then i will run my application so here is my application now i will open into the browser here i will put paste and I will hit on enter so here you will see open this application yes I would like to open so my application will open even if I try again the same thing then the same reply you will get paste and here so every time it will open the application now we reached only one step now the second step is pending that is we have to handle uh, we have to handle the URL parameters so how we can do that let's understand now you have to write some code in your main schema we can say in main schema if you would like to write then you can write in main schema or in content view you can write the code okay so let's write the code and understand okay so now here we are we have to write dot open url from this will be the url which you will receive from the text we can say okay or i can write this in my swift ui url schema click on enter 
टाइप यू आर एल देन प्रिंट यू आर एल डोट एब्सोलूट स्ट्रिंग सो नो आई विल प्रिंट दैट वॉट यू आर एल वी आर गेटिंग ओके नाउ आई विल क्लोज एंड आई विल अगेन फ्रॉम हियर आई एल गो टू हियर दैन आई एल कॉपी माई स्कीमा एंड आई विल ओपन माई सिमुलेटर इन सिमुलेटर आई विल पेस्ट एंड आई विल गिव हाई नाउ ओपन सो लेट सी हियर यू कैन सी क्लोजिंग दिस सो हियर यू कैन सी द यू आर एल इज प्रिंटिंग वॉट वी आर रिडायरेक्टिंग फ्रॉम द वेब ब्राउजर ओके सो नाउ द थिंग इज दैट हाउ वी कैन सेंड द पैरामीटर दैट इज ऑल्सो वेरी ईजी हियर आई विल टेल यू आई विल गाइड यू प्रॉपरली हाउ यू कैन सेंड द पैरामीटर फ्रॉम द वेब ब्राउजर एंड हाउ यू कैन हैंडल इन योअर कोड इट सेल्फ एट द वेरी फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट वन एक्सटेंशन फाइल फॉर द यू आर एल सो दैट वी कैन एक्सट्रैक्ट द यू आर एल ओके सो हियर इट सेल्फ आई एम गोइंग टू गिव दैट this is the my extension file by with this file i can extract the url uh, just a wait yeah here so here you can see i will pass my query name okay means i would like to what parameter i required from that particular url and the value of the parameter yeah if i am passing time and time i have given 1 2 3 4 then the time value will come automatically so let's understand this concept also okay uh, i will not put this here i will put here itself well we can access this uh, extension anywhere in uh, the entire project it doesn't require so i am putting here itself okay now let's see print url dot value of name copy value of age and right now i am not giving this optional because i am surely i will send it both parameter but in your case you can use like question mark okay so what you would like to assign the value if it is not coming so now i will run that and i will see just a minute yes now i will run and i will see the output again now here it is again i will go on schema and i will copy paste my schema to my simulator this is my simulator clear paste now uh the url i have to give that is uh, uh, we can say name so this is the url which i'm going to hit let's see what the output will come uh, might be we may need to uh, customize that but first we will see the output it's saying that open yes we open and here you can see the name is spindra and is is 28 whatever we are sending into the url that we can identify here okay and the great thing is that you can send some authentication also so uh, it will cut down it will break break the procedure here itself now the second thing uh, up to here what we have done we are able to open the url and we are able to open our application and we are able to read the parameters what we are coming from the uh, what we are getting from the url now the thing is that uh, i would like to open a specific view on the basis of uh, some conditions so how we can do that from here so let's understand okay now i will take one state variable that is called uh, we can say state where and i can give the name uh, anything you would like to give whatever or url i will represent with integer but in your case you give the proper name okay so you are a streaming and here i will write group
if url streaming double equals 0 then this one and this code i will put for the group here now i will intent this i will format now else now here what i need to do that let's understand first i will create one another view no file that will be my swift ui file swift ui view and i will give the name web view or you can give anything whatever you would like to give and here i will say now i will go here and i will put uh, what is the name of that web view now that's it now again i will run my url and i will see and one more thing i forgot to do uh, suppose if when i need to open that if my url dot value of uh, we can say name double equals pk and that is also a capital letter then url streaming value will be one so let's see how it works will it work or not so here it is now again what i'm going to do here my browser and in my browser i'm going to paste my schema paste now the parameter is name equals pk and age was 27 now hit on enter open wow so here you can see hello g web view hit means it is hit it by the web view and here you can see the name is pk now at the place of pk if i send anything uh, which is relevant from this then what will be the output name equals pk g and age equal 38 hit on enter open yeah so here is i think some mistake is there so that we have to check and we will rectify that oh okay i understood here we are just making the value if you will see the we are making the value one but we are not returning to zero itself so uh, so the value will be here the value will be zero now again i will run and we'll see the output okay and again and again i need to copy this so sorry for that because i took the schema little lengthy so here as you can see the first screen is coming now i will open the safari browser in safari browser i will give the schema and yes question mark name why i am adding the question mark because it's a post request and uh, we can parse the parameter with the help of question mark that's why i am adding the question mark so this is the syntax okay here i am not specifying anything special this is the syntax of the url we have to follow that pk and age equals nt or anything whatever you would like to give hit on enter open so now you can see hello gweb view came now again i will change and now name oh sorry name equals pkg and age equal 23 hit on enter open so you can see it's returned back to the same view that is a content view so like that we can open the view 
so there is lots of things what you can achieve but it's completely depend upon end to end requirement right, right now i have given you the basic example of the url scheme how you can implement how you can achieve that in your application now it's up to you it's in your mind what task you would like to achieve with the help of url scheme like in ott i'm sharing any movie okay if you are working on ott then you need to share some movie with some description and you need to open that particular movie so like that you can achieve here as i can as i given web view so in the web view you can give the detail view or movie detail view where you will pass some id and that movie detail will come from the backend server then you can implement the logic okay so i hope it is very clear and uh, yeah it was very interesting topic because we are doing some magic in that we are opening our application from somewhere else yeah it's great so if you have any doubt in this video tutorial then please write into the comment box so that i can give the reply as soon as i can and yeah i will keep uh, making lots of videos on the lots of different different topic in ios development and recently i'm working in some face recognition thing so surely i will put one video for that also so that you can uh, learn lots of things from the face recognitions so that's a great magical things which uh, i'm going to do in an, my next video so be in touch subscribe my youtube channel click on the bell icon so that you get the instant notification and you can get the fastest learner on my youtube channel if you have any doubt write okay i will surely give you a reply thank you so much have a great time bye bye